tapping me on the shoulder and really affecting me. And I felt hurt and I felt kind of pissed off and I felt kind of like, why did they talk to me like that? That is so weird. Like it just, it, it, it marked me. It marked my timeline and that connection that I had with that person. So what did I get to do? I got to sit and to meditate and work metaphysically on the energetic links and ties that I have with this person. So you can imagine yourself if there's a person in your life and they'll come right away. You don't have to think too hard. They will just reveal themselves where there is some static energy. And all we have to do metaphysically is decide to delink energetically. You see, in a lot of these metaphysical energy tools are these way of seeing things and the way that we can contribute to being a master of our time and space is to use them. Your mind, your thoughts, your words are so amazingly, immaculately powerful. You are a creator with your thoughts and with your words. And so often we are trained, especially here in the West, in the States, to look outside of ourselves for someone else or something else to remedy our situations. And ultimately, being a master of your time and space is you saying, no, I'm going to take care of it. Now, this doesn't mean that we can't go to healers or psychics or, you know, people to help us along the path as we get stuck or we need some outside divine light and guidance along the way. Yet ultimately, the practice is yours. Is your, your life is yours to master. So what did we get to do? What did I get to do? I got to sit there and I got to... Be with that thought, be with that conversation, and it re-ran several times on repeat in my mind, and I kept getting hurt and feeling more and more like I wanted to start calling this person a bitch. I wanted to start the tar body in me, the shadow in me, wanted to dig back the way that I felt that I was digged out, but I knew that that's not the answer because that just perpetuates this back and forth of tar, this back and forth of separation consciousness. That is not unity, that is not love. So I sat and very simply, I imagined those threads, the threads of energy that connect me to that person and that person to me, that they had from this specific, specific situation where they had voiced these opinions in this council in, in, a, in a very sharp way, I felt. And I imagined. Me delinking myself energetically from them. That means the disbanding of the threads of energy that I cast out to them regarding that situation. And for the highest good, because we never force a will, I ask the universe to energetically delink them from me. So you can imagine, and sometimes it feels like little threads connecting you to someone else, and sometimes it feels like hooks. And like there's things that are really cast in and kicked and baked in. But I asked for that to be done. And instantly, because I'm being a master of my time and space, and I'm choosing the timeline that I wish to experience, because this was annoying me. This was getting my goat, if you will. This was starting to disturb my every part of my day. Because I love this person. And it just came out of left field. And sometimes it's not from someone you love, it's a stranger, or it's a boss, or it's a roommate, or it's a, your lover, or your husband, or your wife. And it doesn't matter who it is, if there's stagnant, or static, or funky energy, you can, as this tool resonates you for the highest good, you can simply take a moment, close your eyes, and imagine all the ways that you guys, that you gals, that you people, are energetically connected, all the ties. Now there might be one, there might be two, they might be big, they might be small, they might, there might be many of them connected at your heart, at your solar plexus, at your mind, wherever they are. And you say, you think, you intend to delink all the threads, all the grids, all the energy threads that you have connected into them, you delink. So you unplug, you unhook all those things, you reel them back in, and you don't even have to do all that. You just simply have the intention, I delink from this person, and whew, it's done for you. The universe delinks you from them. And universe, for the highest good, delink them from me. And generally, 99.9% .9 of the time, the universe will be like, gotcha, boom, 
right? We never force a will, but the universe will do that work for us. So it will delink them from us energetically. And then you move from having those ties that bind to being sovereign, to being free. And we're going to talk about this symbol here, the detachment symbol, because ultimately, as we may be aware, as we think about those people, places, and things that are on our mind that cause us disruption, that cause us to get off of our game and out of our center and not steal our peace, we recognize that as a master, we start to recognize how much we have a part of that, how much we contribute to that being so. And that is so, again, through your thoughts, through your words, and especially those thoughts, because remember, your thoughts connect you to the collective consciousness. 